The Falcons supposedly lost to the NFL draft once they drafted Michael Penix Jr. with the eighth overall pick. But today we are going to make sure that does not happen and to make sure that Michael Penix Jr. is going to be worth that eighth overall pick that the Atlanta Falcons supposedly reached on. Now, I'm not going to act like I saw this coming. When, the, when they drafted Michael Penix, bro, I literally said, wow. I, I yelled, wow, because I don't think anybody actually saw them drafting this man with the eighth overall pick. Maybe the second round could have been reasonable. Eighth overall pick is insane. What makes it even more insane is that they just signed Kirk Cousins to a nice low deal. I think it was a three-year deal, maybe. He's 36 years old. We are going to, uh, they're not going to do this in real life, but for the sake of Madden, I'm going to trade Kirk Cousins. See, try to exercise some value out of him. See if anybody wants to give me a good package like the New York Giants for some reason. They want to give me Kayvon Thibodeau, a six and a seven for, for Kirk, but I cannot accept it because of cap. Oh my God, wait. Okay, we, we, we can, we can, wait. I, I, well, I can't do it because of cap. They're minus 240, so I'm going to add in Skylar Thompson, and um, I'll, I'll accept that there. That is that is hilarious. Um, for some reason, they wanted to give us Kayvon Thibodeau for Kirk Cousins. I'm not going to say no to that. Was that realistic? Absolutely not, but Kayvon Thibodeau is now an Atlanta Falcon, and I am not going to think twice on it. I am not going to ask questions around here. But I have seen Michael Penix actually be like pretty solid in the sim rebuild, so I am excited to see how he's going to play, How surrounded by Kyle Pitts, uh, Bijan, Drake London. So let's sim midseason and let's see uh, let, let's see how the fellas are looking. All right, well we're two and five. You know what? That's fine. I just want to. I just I just hope to see Michael Penix progressing at some point, and it doesn't look like it. Six touchdowns, five picks. Um, Bijan's okay. Drake London, Kyle Pitts, they're all doing their thing. It, it it's okay to have a tank year. I don't mind having a tank year at the very first year of the rebuild. That's honestly what we're here for. But we are also here to see who's gonna resign with us. Kyle Pitts, okay, we're gonna have to, uh, we have, we have, do have some cap. So Kyle Pitts, we're gonna lock you up for sure because you're also, you're always a god. You were always a sim god. And then AJ Terrell, we're gonna have to resign you. Okay, bang. After that, we were just going to honestly let everybody walk. There's not much we really need to do here. Let's just go to the playoffs and let's just see, uh, how bad we did. All right, four and 13. Honestly, that is perfect. I am not complaining. I just wanna, I just wanna see some good stats. Um, Michael Penix is definitely gonna be in a short leash. Michael Penix is definitely gonna be in a short leash. Honestly, I, 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 I might give him next year. I might give him next year before I, uh, before it's, before it's over because yeah, he's on a short leash. He's like 25, 25, 26. But if there is a solid, if there's a solid, uh, solid quarterback in this draft, I'm not going to hesitate to draft him. Like straight up. I'm sorry, Michael Penix. I'm sorry, Michael Penis, but it just is what it is. Well, Kayla Williams wins rookie of the year. No shocker there. Lamar Jackson MVP, but the 49ers get the last laugh with Brock Purdy winning Super Bowl MVP. Okay, we're gonna have to accept Drake London's fifth year option and we're gonna have to accept Kayvon's fifth year option. Now, I don't wanna yap too much, but the thing about the Falcons rebuild is that usually when you're doing other rebuilds, the Falcons have the guys that you wanna trade for, you know, like the AJ Terrells, the Bijans, the Kyle Pitts. We, are ha we have all those guys already, so we should be chilling. This rebuild shouldn't be as hard, but then again, I could make it extremely hard be and difficult because that's just, uh, you know, I'm not an elite rebuilder yet. And yeah, I mean, nobody wants to play with me um, or for me, not with me. Playing with me would be weird. We have the second overall pick and bro, I'm not gonna lie. I want Michael Penix to work. I really want him to work, bro. I'm not gonna draft a quarterback just yet as like, I really want to, bro. I really want to, but the whole premise of this video is to try to make it work with Michael Penix. So uh, hopefully, the, okay, yeah, the Cardinals get their quarterback. And I'm gonna trade back with the Jets because I'm gonna give Michael Penix another year, man. I'm not gonna reach on anything with the second overall pick because that would be quarterback territory. So let's just try to get a solid, uh, just a solid player here with second, or with the 22nd overall pick. Such so a strong safety. We need a strong safety. And this guy looks like a stud. Oh my God. His physicals are all right. They're mid but uh, his, his skills are pretty good. Rudy Black, you're gonna be a normal death. Okay, well, you just cooked this. Usually this is how these drafts go. The first draft is always, we're always cooked. We're always cooked in the very first draft, but after that, we start to warm up and, and we start to get going. But I'm just gonna draft another free safety. I'm just gonna double dip with the free safeties. Hopefully this guy's a stud in me. I don't really know what else to what else to draft. Oh, a solid cornerback here. Yo, low key, Justin Jones might be him. He's 6'4", and oh my God, his key ratings. Dude, his skills are kind of nice bro justin jones please be a hidden dev this guy might be a freak he's a 6'4 db with hidden dev oh my god there is justin jones
Jones, 77 overall. I mean, we didn't do too bad with the top three, I can't lie. I mean, I thought we did a lot worse, but we really didn't. Well, heading into this season, I mean, Michael Penix did get better. Kyle Pitts regressed. That is unfortunate. Okay, we are going to need to... Uh, that's not ideal. If I were to trade Kyle Pitts, what could I get out of him? This man always, you know, he's a he's a pretty penny. Um, Honestly, we could try to get Garrett Wilson, but I mean... They ascend. I might just, I might just, I'm just gonna hold on to him. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna hold on to him. Year number two, baby. Let's just go mid season. All right. Well, we're still two and five, so things are not looking good. I hope that Michael Penix is actually turning it around, and he's not. We, we might, uh, he might be on a short leash, fellas. This might be his last dance. Kyle Pitts. I'm gonna have to trade Kyle Pitts. He's not doing anything. Hopefully, we can still get the trade value, um, out of him that we once, you know, had. We also can trade Tyler Algier, and uh, I might as well take this star left tackle. I mean might as well i'm praying that he still has that trade value that he did man please i think he i think he does oh no no he doesn't please just jay is jsn still on here christian gonzalez is, oh my god we can't even get jsn anymore we can't even get garrett wilson or jsn christian gonzalez i mean oh dude no we kind of fumbled the bag we fumbled i just gotta hope that he has a rebound year bro i fumbled that so hard garrett wilson and jsn were up for grabs and i just fumbled i'm gonna try to put kyle pitts in the slot because darnell mooney is currently there so so let's let's put Kyle Pitts in the slot. Maybe that's where we, maybe that's where it went wrong. I think that's definitely where it went went wrong. Let's just go playoffs and hopefully we can like Kyle Pitts can have a resurgence because I don't think Michael Penix is gonna be the guy for us. Finished six and eleven, so I think that's uh, an improvement from last year. I'm not really sure. Um, let's just hope that Michael Penix kind of had a better year, kind of did better. Bijan Cooks, Drake London, Kyle Pitts. Nah, I mean he kind he, he kind of cook at the end. I don't really know. There's Caleb Williams winning the Super Bowl with the Bears. Okay. While we have Michael Penix, who's struggling to even make the playoffs. We're going to have to accept Bijan's option. I think we're just going to let Darnell Mooney walk. And a BK can, he can re-sign or not. That's fine. Caleb McGarry is going to sign with us, but that's about it, bro. I think, I mean, Grady Jarrett's going to have to walk, dude. Th th so many people are going to have to walk. We're going to be big hitters in free agency, so I hope there are some studs in free agency. And there's Derrick Henry for what that's worth. We don't really need him. There's just nobody worth anything in free agency, bro. Maybe Dallas Goddard, I can sign him, and then I'm gonna, and I might try to trade, uh, I might try to trade Kyle Pitts if he, if he signs with us. Joe Thune, I'm gonna try to sign him, and let's just see if we get any of these guys. We do not. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to overpay. Debo wants to come to the, to the, to the, to the A. You know what? We'll, we'll try to shoot our shot, and if he wants to come here, he can come here. Okay, well, I don't think Debo, nope, Debo wanted to go to the Raiders. All right, well, we were probably gonna have a high drop pick yet again. You have pick number eight, and are we gonna be stuck with Michael Penix again? There's, yeah, there's no good, there's no good quarterbacks here. Maybe Mike Middleton from LSU. Oh my God, wait, no, this guy might be cracked. This guy might, he might be him. A aware. I might have to go with Mike Middleton. If he's still on the board, if he's still on the board, I think I might go with him. All right, moment of truth. Is he on the board? Yes, he is. But can we get him at 15 and possibly? But I think I'm just going to go with him now. I, I think, yeah, compared to the other quarterbacks, dude, I think he's uh, I think he's so much better. Mike Middleton, he's 21 years old. This guy's 22 and this guy's 21. Okay, Mike, please be a hidden dev. And he is 94 throw power. Hopefully Mike is that guy because Michael Penix is not. That was pick eight. So we took a new franchise quarterback at pick number eight, unlike Michael Penix. And we now have another pick because of uh, the Jets. Oh, Tristan McC This guy looks nasty. Now, this guy looks freaky. I'm going to go with him, man. He's a hidden dev. 97 speed. This guy is going to be a stud. Okay. I am I am excited about this draft class. I feel like we uh, we kind of rebounded here. We're cooking. We're cooking with this next, with this next draft. We could trade it. Oh, my God. We could trade it, the second round pick for a 2021 or 2027 first. I think I'm going to do that with the Texans. I, I don't really like anything in the, in the second round pick. We're just going to get another offensive lineman. Hidden dev. That's really all we need. Mike Middleton's a 79. Christian is an 81. And honestly, the rest of the... Yeah, they, they don't really matter. This is all that really matters is our quarterback and our, our top two picks. Our, our top two picks. So he is already a higher overall than Michael Penix. Unfortunately, Michael, you're going to have to get the boot, sir. Or he is already an 81 overall. That is insane. 2026 in... Oh my God. Kyle Pitts is now a star dev. Oh God. That is nasty. He's our wide receiver too. Okay. Kyle Pitts. That is, this is not ideal. That is not ideal whatsoever. Um, Kayvon Thibodeau is now a, he's still a star. AJ Terrell's regressing. Oh my God, this is not ideal. Is, is Kyle Pitts worth trading? Like, is he, can I get anything from him? 
please, you get, like, I, I don't want DJ Moore, respectively. I, I, I don't want DJ Moore. Latu, Latu actually might be, he might be the guy. I actually might go with him. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with, oh, Kobe Turner. DK Metcalf, he's 28. That's not even worth it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with Latu. He literally won rookie of the year, like two years ago. So I'm going to go with him. And we have three first round picks this year. I'm going to trade one of them for a wide receiver. I I'm going to try to get our boy Mike some uh, some help. Devonta Smith, would this would this work? Devonta, oh yes, it's going to work. It is going to work. We have a lot of draft capital to offer for Devonta Smith, man. I'll give him a fourth round pick this year and bang, Devonta Smith. Welcome to the A, my guy. We're going to move him up to wide receiver one for our boy Mike to have a weapon. And we might as well see what we can get for Michael Penix. I mean, he's not, he's never going to play for us ever again there's got to be something we can get right calvin ridley okay <laughs> actually let, let's reunite let's let's have a nice little family reunion here calvin ridley is gonna come up and he is going to be our wide receiver three so we now have a pretty solid wide receiver core all right well this is the squad that we're gonna try out with mike middleton we're gonna move uh i think is he an offensive lineman or a tight end he's an offensive lineman okay so you are not uh bring you back up there to tight end one all right gentlemen i'm feeling pretty confident about this season i, I i'm not gonna lie to you i'm feeling good with our new starting quarterback unfortunately michael Penix did not make the cut all right well we're one in five so um that's that's that mike is actually having a good year okay mike's actually, actually having a pretty good year Bijan as well devonta of course we have 17 players ready to negotiate so that is an issue uh jesse bates i might look to trade jesse bates i'm not gonna lie he's 29 years old he's gonna start regressing he's not gonna stay as a 98 overall let's just see what we're gonna get for jesse bates can we get some maybe first round picks we can't round one pick one the cardinals what are the cardinals smoking garrett wilson i mean i kind of like that first overall pick i'm not gonna lie i kind of like that first overall pick chris olave i want to get my goat but i don't want to see him on the falcons man will anderson dude i'm not gonna lie round one Oh, would that be next year? Yeah, that, that wouldn't even be this year. That would be next year. We don't need wide receivers. I kind of like Will Anderson here. I'm going to try to squeeze a first out of the Texans. Let's see. They don't even have their first. Can I get next year's first? Um, maybe. Let me let me add some more draft capital. First is second and Will Anderson. Let me see. Oh, my God. They're right there. Okay, bet, bet, bet. I'll give them a fifth rounder, and we'll, we'll call it even. It's right there. Okay. A fifth and a sixth. There's no way they can say no to this, right? Oh, my God. They're right there. They want another fifth? They want, they, they, they want a sixth? so bad they can have it thank you there we go that is negotiating that is a plus negotiating right there i just kind of want to see what everybody's dev trade is i hope that mike is a superstar x factor please mike save this rebuild sir and wait what we don't even know we don't even okay really okay well we don't even know yet what about our db is he a superstar perfect that's awesome that is fine with me this defense is going to come together soon. I promise this defense is going to come together soon. Offensively, Bijan's up to a 97. Devonta's kind of regressing for some reason. We're going to move our center up there. Also, Werner. I mean, I don't know how they're not starting, but there we go. I'm feeling confident, man. I'm, I just hope Mike... I hope we hit on Mike. If we hit on Mike Middleton, then we're chilling, I think. We're going to have another year of high draft picks, and then we're really going to start to get into it. Well, 7 and 10. I mean, it could be worse. Um, I just want to see... Uh, I, I just want to see if Mike did his thing, and I think... He he did. I think Mike Cook, baby. And Michael Penix, unfortunately, just wasn't going to work out here, fellas. Bijan, 1,600. We'd like to see him have more touchdowns. Devonta Smith with 1,200. I mean, Drake London did his thing. So did Calvin Ridley. But let us see, Mike. What is your... You're a superstar X Factor. That is exactly what we needed from our quarterback, man. We could not keep riding it out with Michael Penix. It just wasn't going to work. It, it just wasn't. Offensively, we're 15th. What about defensively? Defensively, 27th. Okay, we need some work. And Mike somehow didn't win Rookie of the Year, but that's okay because we're already a superstar X Factor, so it really doesn't matter. So we got 142 mil in cap. Um, Drake London is a free agent. I forgot about that. So is Kayvon Thibodeau. I'm going to have to pay... Yeah, Kayvon Thibodeau is up to a superstar, so Kayvon is going to have to get the bag here. Man, he's going to test for agency, so we might have to franchise tag him, but that is an issue. How much is he going to want? 20 mil a year? That's fine with me. I don't really don't want to pay Drake London. I'm just going to let Drake London walk, to be honest with you or i mean i guess i guess i'll pay him i guess i'll pay him i i guess i'll pay drake london yeah i i, I will i didn't want to at first but i guess i kind of talked myself into it <laughs> okay jordan addison's a free agent he doesn't want to sign here so that's fine with me um laporta wants to sign here however and we need a tight end so i'm gonna give laporta I'm going to give him a, a pretty penny. I'm going to give him a pretty penny here. We are the top. We are his top offer along with New York. 
We need to shore up our defense, though. But I am going to sign Trent Brown a one-year deal if he wants to come here. But let's just hope we sign Laporta. And we did. Laporta's fine. Laporta is fine. Um, Trent Brown, he uh, kind of wants more money. But I'm not even gonna, I don't even care about that. We walked out of there with uh, Sam Laporta. And that is fine with me. That's all I really needed. And we get a new kicker. All right, fellas. Let's head into the draft. We are uh, we're heading into the draft with a franchise quarterback. Finally. And now we can, uh, I mean, we can just kind of do our thing now. I'm feeling confident. We have pick eight and we have pick 15. There's two quarterbacks that we don't need. There's a wide receiver. There's a lot of wide receivers. But we don't really need any of these wide receivers. Honestly, I'm going to trade back here. I'm going to get two first rounders from the Giants. Oh my God, I actually might take that. Or the Colts. I'm taking the Colts offer, no doubt. We already have a, we ha we already have a first round pick, uh, pick 15. And we're going to get two more first rounders. Dude, I am building our assets. That is what that is what I'm doing here. I'm building our assets. Very quarterback friendly draft here. And I mean, I don't really know uh, like what... But I mean, like, what, what do I need here? I mean, I guess a middle linebacker. A-man coverage. Oh, this guy might be a stud. Wait, what's his tackling? C, C, that's okay. Greg Carvey, that's that's okay, bro. That's okay. I have faith that he might be a dog. 15 might have been a reach, but there's no guarantee that we would have gotten him uh, in the second round. Probably a 0% guarantee. Two second round picks, and look at all the quarterbacks. My God, that is insane. Could get a halfback here. Um, he's an elusive back, Deontay Dodson. We do have Bichon, but I wouldn't mind having another elite running back. And if this guy is nice, honestly, we, we, we could maybe we could maybe try Bijan. We could maybe do it just to see if this guy turned out to be like a superstar or superstar X Factor. I mean, here's two left tackles that we can maybe look at. Oh, this guy looks like a stud. Pass blocking's a C. This guy, he's better better than the other left tackle for sure. Yeah, Donald. I'm like, I'm liking this, Donald. I'm liking this. We need help up front. I don't think I've ever hit on a on a tackle in the draft. Like, I don't think I've ever had a superstar left tackle ever. Maybe Tory, maybe Tory Richard, man. I, I guess we're gonna have to go with him. Hopefully he's a hidden dev. He's a normal dev. I, I kind of expected that, but eventually you might as well. I might as well go with another cornerback here. I mean, this guy doesn't look that bad. He's six foot he's from LSU. Normal dev. Okay. Maybe he's not that good. Dotson's an 83 overall. Okay, no, dude. I'm not gonna lie, Bijan might have to get the boot. Bijan, I feel like a lot of you aren't gonna understand, but Bijan might have to get the boot. All right, man. This is uh, another year with this team. Mike Middleton, Bijan's a 99 overall. We're gonna have to keep Bijan. Uh, we'll just see what Dotson develops into, but for right now, we're gonna keep Bijan. I feel like it's only right. Defensively, um, AJ Terrell is, yeah, he's a star. Should be a. I mean, I don't know how he's on a superstar, but okay. Bull Anderson needs to start developing soon. Um, I mean, he's a 94 ball. He needs to be a superstar. I think this is a good year for us, man. I feel like I should see some improvement. I should see, I should see some wins starting to happen now. Okay, three and four. I mean, we're we're right there with the winning the division. So, you know, I, I can't complain. All right, we're gonna have to resign Bijan. I did not know that was gonna be this year. Bijan, you are gonna have to... Okay. Um, do we look to trade Bijan? Do I look to do that? Kayvon Thibodeau is going to need a, a bag too. Good God. Yeah, I'm about to trade Kayvon. I'm, I'm okay with trading Kayvon. I mean, we got, we literally got him from Kirk Cousins. Will Anderson, you are going to stay here for sure. Okay, thank you. I kind of want to see what I can get for Bijan, man. I really, I, I really want to see. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. We don't need Kyle Pitts. I don't know why. I mean, honestly, all these offers are not like, we, we don't need any of these. We just got, we're just going to have to re-sign him. Kyle Hamilton, maybe, but I mean, no, not really. We don't, we don't need any of these guys. Nobody here is worth it. Yeah, nobody's worth it here. However, Kayvon Thibodeau could be interesting here. We could maybe try to find something here. Nope, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. We're just going to have to hope we re-sign them later in the year. And would you look at that? We make the playoffs at 11 and 6. Oh my God. I, I am I am so excited to check the stats here, man. I am excited. Mike Middleton, 3,700 yards, 32 touchdowns. Bijan. Yeah, we can't trade Bijan, man. We, we can't trade Bijan. I mean, Drake London had a better year than uh, Devonta Smith. That's interesting. Porter only with 655 and four touchdowns. So I feel like we didn't really need to pay Laporta. I mean, maybe we did. Who knows? I mean, we were 11 and 6. We made the playoffs. But I mean, I just feel like he's not really doing that much. Latu had 13 sacks. Oh my god. Who else? Will Anderson at 13 and a half. Yeah, bro. Oh my god. Okay. The defense is going insane. They, they got to be better than the offense, right? There's no way the defense is not better than the offense here. 10th and yards. Okay. Would you look at that? We make the playoffs by winning the division. Now let's 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 watch this man. Caleb is a 96 overall, so uh, he's not you know at his prime yet. Even though he just won a Super Bowl with the Bears. So, I mean, the Bears are Super Bowl champions in this in this rebuild in this video. So they definitely have the experience. They have that edge. Um, but we just gotta hope that uh, we can pull through here. Oh my god, the fireworks are going. Going crazy man please 31 21 defense hold 
No, 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 please. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, they scored and they went for two and got it. Oh my God, I can't even hate, bro. I can't even hate. That's actually ballsy. That is respect. I I, I can't hate. Bro, Caleb threw for 415 and two touchdowns. Mike Middleton, 381 and two. I can't even hate, man. All right, well, the Colts win the Super Bowl and I think we traded with them. I think we have like their first round picker. We have something with them and we're gonna get probably not a good draft pick from that. All right, well, this is where the real fun begins. We're gonna have to, you know, Bijan at least wants to come back here. So that's, that's, that's fun. I'm going to give him like a little bit more, but that's really it. Thank you, Bijan, for not snaking us. Kayvon is regressing. I might let him walk. I, I think I'm going to let Kayvon walk here. He's 27. Unless he wants like a one-year deal. He wants a four-year deal. Um, So chances are he's probably gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Let's give him a one-year deal, man. Brandon Aubrey, welcome back to the squad. I mean, tell me there are some solid players in free. Oh my God, Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene, bro. I don't want to... I can't pay Malik Neighbors, too. I can't pay him and Devontae. But Cooper... Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I, I mean, there's... We don't need these positions. That's the unfortunate part. I will take a left guard, though. I'll, I'll pay... I'll pay, like, the uh, the important positions is what we need. I'm not going to overpay on positions we don't need. Oh, a right tackle star? Yeah, like, we got to pay for these for these players right here. That's exactly what we got to do. We're both at the top of their offers, so if we can secure them, and we're building the line. We are building the offensive line. JJ McCarthy, man, he didn't make it either. He didn't make it, just like uh, Michael Penix. We do need a right outside linebacker, though, to replace uh, to replace Kayvon Thibodeau. Please tell me we at least got one of these guys. Okay, that's it. We got we got what we needed. We didn't we didn't really need uh, Edwards. We really didn't. We were getting much needed offensive line help. And honestly, I'm gonna get Ronnie Stanley. I'm gonna get Ronnie Stanley. Um, we need we need a left tackle too, and I could use that. And oh my God, we did get T.J. Edwards. Okay, well <laughs> we just went four for four in this free agency. That was a masterclass. All right, well, round one, pick eight. And if there's a stone on the board, I might not be, uh... Ooh, a Angelo Lindsley. This is what I mean. We can, This is a Kayvon Thibodeau replacement right here. This is a Kayvon Thibodeau replacement. If he falls... If he falls to pick three or so, I will, uh, okay. Well, he's first overall pick. Never mind. We got round one, pick eight and 24. So we got two first. Is there really anybody worth taking here with the eighth overall pick? Maybe this left tackle from LSU, Travis Price. Um, he's not bad at all. You know what? I, I kind of like this. I kind of like Travis Price here. I'm going to take my shot on him. We just signed Ronnie Stanley, but we need, you know, Ronnie Stanley's just one year deal. We need, uh, our, our left tackle of the future. Look at all the quarterbacks, man. That is insane. We need a good free safety though. I will say that or just a good safety in general we actually have the pick 32 too okay i forgot about that you know what? i'm gonna try to trade here 23 year old is oh my god yeah we gotta get we get well I'm, I'm taking it from the panthers i am taking this guy from the panthers i don't care if we're in the same i don't care if we're in the same uh in the same division i'm gonna get this guy i'm gonna get a superstar x factor strong safety well all right gentlemen we are uh we're building the squad here I don't remember what year this is, but we are we are in a good spot here. Greg Compton, I think, is it Greg? Is his name Greg? It is Greg. He is a superstar. He is going up to a superstar dev. So we are cooking. We we are we're an 87 overall. We are cooking. We just traded for Ballard. I mean, we're cooking here, fellas. We're gonna send the midseason. We're gonna see who's a free who's who's gonna be a free agent and if we have to trade anybody. But I'm hoping that we can make the playoffs again. The Bears kind of screwed us over. I'm not gonna lie. Well, three and three is not terrible, but uh, definitely not leading the division at the moment. Mike's having a Mike's not kind of Mike's not cooking. Mike is not cooking. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know why he's not cooking. Hopefully he can uh hopefully he can bounce back because it is not looking pretty right now. I mean Garrett Wilson's leading the league in yards and we could have traded for him. We could have traded. I forgot who. But Latu Latu, Devin Sachs. He is he is yeah. That is awesome to see. Latu, Latu, speaking of him, you are going to need a bag, sir. You are going to need to get a pretty penny. Oh, my God. Why do... Why? 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 Okay. Greg Compton, you are going to get a player-friendly deal, and I think I'm going to have to trade AJ Terrell. Oh, my God. There's so many people who need to be re-signed. Chris Lindstrom, um... Okay, you're close. AJ, Tur AJ Terrell, we're going to have to trade. We're going to have to trade AJ Terrell. Justin Jones, I'm going to resign you. AJ Terrell's gone. We're going to we're gonna have to we're gonna have to trade him. He's a 94 overall, so we should be getting some decent value from him. Uh, Ed Oliver's not bad at all. We could just replace him with a younger cornerback. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, Brian Breesey. 
Brian Brice might not be bad. Ernest Jones. Actually, no, screw that. We're, get, we're getting Matt Graham from the Cardinals. 24 years old. He's an 87 overall. He might have a higher window than, uh, than AJ Terrell. You don't know. Yeah, Christian could definitely be that guy. All right, well, let's just send him the playoffs. I mean, we did what we did everything we could. Hey, we ended up winning the division. That's all I can ask for. I uh, just saw Fripp. I don't see anybody, uh, sack leaders rushing. I don't see anybody. So that's a problem. Mike had a better year. Mike definitely rebounded from the atrocious start. Bichon is Bichon. Devonta Smith is cooking. I mean, defense is what I'm really interested in. Latu, Latu, 15 and a half sacks. Is insane. Will Anderson kind of took a regression only with seven. Ballard, our superstar, uh, superstar X Factor safety had an interception. Christian had an interception. Craig had three and Matt Graham had two. So defense is honestly our better, our better side. Offense, we finished 10th in yards. Defense, what, tell me defense had the better. Uh, about the same, a little above average. But let's, let's, come on, man. We're not facing the Chicago Bears this time. So they're not going to screw us over with a two-point conversion. We're facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, guys. All right, man, we got a home field advantage. Like, come on. We, we at least need to win a playoff game. And it's looking like that 14-0 right here. Excellent start, 14-3. 17-3, I thought we were going to score a touchdown there. Our defense is playing phenomenal. Okay, well, I don't want to jinx this, but... Uh, our offense is playing just as good. Yeah, this... Sh I mean, it should be over. There's no way. There is guys, guys, guys. Oh, oh my God, we lost. I'm gonna forget I am the Falcons. So we are gonna choke games. We are gonna choke big games. That's just what the Falcons do. And I mean, the Buccaneers go on to the Super Bowl. They don't win it, but that's insane. The Saints are cooking, so that's not a good sign for us. They got Defensive Player of the Year and they got Offensive Rookie of the Year. So that is... Uh, that's concerning a little bit. And we're gonna accept Mike Middleton's option and is uh oh my god there's so dude we're gonna be cooked when we have to pay all these guys we are literally gonna be cooked latu latu is a superstar x factor we're gonna have to give him the most insane bag known to mankind yeah i'm gonna have to give him a very yeah I, I i gotta give him a blank check and just have him fill it out uh chris lindstrom he's still a superstar surprisingly that is uh thank god i i forgot i already offered him but that this is good this is good this is good brandon arby you're gonna have to resign with us sir Thank you for staying along for the ride. All right, man. Christian McCaffrey, I've seen what you can do in these rebuilds despite being old. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 can't, I can't go too crazy because I got to pay so many people. Actually, I don't even think I'm... I'm not going to pay them when it's all said and done. I'm, I'm, I might just end the, end the rebuild at that point. I got to go all in at this point. But I don't really know what I need. I've got pretty much every position locked down. Maybe Jamin Davis, I could... Uh, I could give you a little little uh offer but i think i do i think i'm just like i don't really have that many holes that's the problem maybe middle linebacker is what i need but left that side linebacker maybe all right well honestly i think we have two first round picks in this draft let me see yeah we do okay so i think i might trade i might go trade for an av for an actual like ball player that we know is solid because you know i don't have time to wait for uh Wait for Braden Atkins, you know, like, Loki. I don't have time to wait for that. We, we got to win now. Our window is now. So I got first, I got, so I got the 21st and the 24th pick. All right, Ivan Pace, do you want like a third round pick for him? Okay, maybe, maybe you want more. I'll give you a second round pick next year. And okay, I'm, I'm going to have to give him two, two seconds. I'll give you two seconds for him and bang, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still have cap room, fellas. We still have cap room to go absolutely berserk. I honestly might try to go get a wide receiver here. I might try to trade two first for Jamar Chase. What would this look like? Oh my, yeah, we're doing this. We are doing this. I'll give him three first for Jamar Chase. I will, I, yeah, we're getting, we're getting Jamar Chase here. This is our, this is our do or die season. Three first and a second for Jamar Chase. Oh my God. Let's make it happen. Let's go win a Super Bowl Atlanta. All right, man. I don't know how that Bichon is not a uh, a superstar X factor yet, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. But the offense is looking amazing, man. We got Jamar Chase and Devonta Smith. So we've got our duo. Latu is a superstar X factor. Ballard is a superstar X factor. Compton. Everybody is... Dude, this team is looking nice, man. I just wish that Will Anderson would have regressed. Like, not like, regressed. I wish he would have progressed into a superstar, which he hasn't. Like, somehow. He's 96 overall, but he's just not being a superstar, which is unfortunate. But this is the year that we go all in. I mean, we don't have our first round picks for a while, man. We traded three. So I think we, we don't have neck. We don't have this year's first round pick. So we got to have a good record. We're 91 overall. We should be one of the best teams in the league. Well, we're 5 and 2, but the only problem is that the Panthers are 7 and 0. Oh. My God. But let me see. Who do we have? to pay this offseason we have negative 15 million yeah this is the last dance 
This is literally the last dance. We're negative 15 mil in cap, and look at who we have to pay. We have to pay, oh my god, we have to pay Lindstrom, Devonta Smith, and Jamar Chase. My god. They want to re-sign here too, but they, we, just, we just can't. We can't afford them. This is the year. This is the do-or-die year. Mike Middleton leads the league in passing touchdowns. Um, his yards are a little down, but uh, Bichon's having a stellar year. Jamar, Drake London, and Devonta are all balling. The Porters aren't really doing much, but it is what it is. We, I mean, you can't really do much when there's only one football. So let's just sim an end of the year, and let's hope that we can edge out the Panthers to lead the division um that would be that would be awesome all right well we do we make the playoffs at 12 and 5 we end up winning the nfc south um the panthers fell off a cliff my god but here we are with the chicago bears um nothing's changed this is uh time to get a revenge it's it's time that it all comes full circle and we uh, avenge what we lost mike middleton had another stellar year um Bichon, 1600 yards and 18 touchdowns my god that is insane jamar with 1300 yards and 14 touchdowns and everyone else was just kind of a team effort at like after jamar it was just a team effort from there on out Bichon finished with 21 total touchdowns that man is absurd defensively let me see if anybody has any sacks latu it's oh my god will anderson had 16 total sacks latu latu at 12. ivan pace had an interception and he had 91 tackles we were fifth in offensive yards. What about defense? Defense had to be insane, right? 10th. 10th. That is good. That I will take a, a top 10 defense. All right, man. Just come on. So we, we, we have to avenge our loss to what to our, our postseason loss to them like a, two years ago. Please, guys. It, we can't lose to Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears every single year. It just can't happen. Defense, we've got to play better defense, man. We're giving up 24 points. Oh, my God. Please score. That should be it. It should be it, and it's not going to be it. They're going to score again, aren't they? Oh, my God. Thank you, defense. We somehow hold them. I had zero faith in the defense, but we ended up doing it. All right, now we got to travel to Lambeau, man. Oh, my God. It's snowing, so this should be a Bichon game, man. This should be a Bichon masterclass, but right now, it is not looking like that. 7 of 14. Our defense can't get a stop whatsoever. Offense ties it back up. Okay, you know what? You know what? Offense. Offense. Cook. 28 unanswered points. They finally score again. 38, 31, 28. Please, please. Oh, my God. They're going to score and they're going to score. We're going to score. <laughs> Bro, my brain was going 100 miles per hour in that last like 10 seconds. I had no idea what I was saying, but we end up getting the dub 38 to 35. Mike Middleton with 387 yards and three touchdowns in the snow with Jamar Chase getting 119 yards. Well, that leads us into a date with the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> my God, dude. I, the Cowboys are so... I hate playing the Cowboys, man. They don't even have Dak Prescott because he was... Uh, he entered free agency like... Uh, a, f a couple years ago, I'm pretty sure. Yep, their quarterback is a 96 overall, John Staley. Okay, well, this squad is a squad. Nonetheless, oh my God, they have Cooper DeGene. They ended up signing him. I remember looking at him in free agency and they signed him. Let's just get into it, man. I, I got no other words. This is to go to the Super Bowl. This is, we're 92 overall. We're, we're a higher overall than them. So we should be the favorites in this, but you never know. The Cowboys have insane plot armor on this, in this game. All right, man, just put me out of my misery, Dallas. Put me out of my misery, please. I already know it's coming, man. I already know. 3 0, 14 3. They scored just like that. 21 to 3. They're going to score. Yep. They're going to score at will. It's just. Oh, God. Yep. There it is. We can't score. And. All right. 24. Oh, my God. Wait, we're scoring. Lose by three points to go to the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. We were so close. And now that that's it. That The dream the dream season's over. Mike did his thing. Jamar did his thing. Devonta did his thing. I mean, it, that was really, I have no words. That was that was our shot. And the Ravens win the Super Bowl. Um, that's That sucks that we couldn't have been in there. We probably could have. Maybe could have beat the. No, I'm just kidding. Who, who am I kidding? We would not have beat the Ravens. And here's a squad. Uh, Bijan's finally a superstar X factor. Uh, that could have been useful this past season. But uh, Devonta Smith's regressed. Um, Demar Chase, we're going to be losing him in free agency. I think it's going to be him and Devonta. And Devonta Smith. Him and Devonta Smith. Um, defensively, yeah, Greg regressed. Well, that's it. I mean, this team's probably cooked after this year. So <laughs> I would say I left them in a better spot. I mean, I guess so because I gave them a 99 overall superstar X Factor quarterback. But uh, they're going to be losing Devonta Smith and Jamar Chase. So there's that. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. And in the meantime, check out this rebuild where I rebuilt Marvin Harrison Jr. and the Arizona Cardinals. So check that one out. I'm doing one with all the rookies.